Hey, what's going on everybody? Welcome back to Civil Engineering Academy. My name's Cody. Let's go ahead and get started. So today we have a hydraulics hydrology problem and in particular this is going to be a buoyancy problem. Uh, so here's what the question says. The block below weighs approximately 2,500 pounds uh, when placed in mercury, which the gamma is 845 pounds per cubic foot. Uh, will the block float or will the block sink? If the block floats, how deep will the mercury be along the sides of the block when buoyant? So basically we're wanting to know if this guy floats or if it sinks. And if it does float, how much of it will be sinking? So uh, this guy isn't just going to be on the surface. It's going to be you know, submerged at some point and we're wanting to know just how much of this block is going to be submerged. Um, so let's go ahead and get this guy fired up. You can find some stuff in the PE. Uh, page 295 and or you could find some stuff in the FE uh, page 180 uh, but unfortunately the FE only has a bunch of wording in it um, so I'm about to make it simplified to where it, you can understand the, the writing in it basically it says this the force of buoyancy is equal to or the force of the block uh, required is equal to your gamma uh, times your volume of fluid displaced so basically uh, this block is going to act it's going to have a force that acts on the fluid and so if that force is equal to the uh, the volume displaced times the specific weight of that fluid then it's buoyant. So hopefully that, that makes sense there. Um, so our FB in this case, for it to float, it's going to have to be 2,500 pounds. Uh, our gamma mercury, it gives us that. Gamma mercury uh, is equal to 845 PCF. Okay. Um, and remember, just in case, if they don't give this to you and they only give you specific gravity, remember that specific gravity is just times the specific weight of water, and that's how you get your specific weight of anything. Um, so there you go. You just have to have the specific gravity of whatever it is. Um, so good, good little snippet to remember. Uh, the volume of the block, so this is how much we are displacing. Uh, this ends up being 3 feet by 4 feet by 2 feet and this ends up being 24 uh, feet cubed and so for it to float I'm going to scoot over here 2500 pounds must be less than 845 uh, PCF uh, times 24 cubic feet that's our volume displaced and so does it work it absolutely does this ends up being 20,280 pounds and so yeah it floats so that's good uh, but just how much does it float well we're about to solve for that uh, the weight of our mercury is going to be 2,500 pounds that's what we're going to go with weight of mercury uh, to solve for this, it's 2,500 pounds, and uh, and so we're going to basically solve for the displaced mercury. That that's what we're solving for, the volume of the displaced mercury. Um, so let's go ahead and remember that this guy is equal to uh, gamma times our volume, and so we know our gamma, so we're going to uh, divide it out. So we have 2,500 pounds divided by our gamma which in this case, I'm going to scroll down actually just a little bit. Uh, our gamma in this case is 845 pounds, so 845 uh, pounds per cubic foot. Sorry, I, I misspoke. Pounds per cubic foot. And this guy ends up being 2.96 cubic feet. And so now we have our volume. Well, um, how do we get the height out of this? Well, you can divide by your cross-sectional area and uh, and get a height out of it and so that's what we're going to do we're going to go 2.96 feet cubed 
and we're going to divide it by the cross-sectional area of that. So since we are solving for the height, which is this, uh, we're, we're not going to use it. We're, we're going to use the cross-sectional area that impacts that in order to make a, uh, a volume. So we're looking for this area right here. So that's what we're going to do. This is 4 feet times 2 feet. And so you end up with 0 0.37 feet. And so let's see which answer that one is. 0 0.37. It looks like it's C. So I hope this video helps and we'll catch you next time.